Good morning, everyone. Sunshine at Paul Sauer area for this Sunday morning. How be it a bit chilly outside a lot of view of the Ferris Wheel and National Harbor. The temperatures and just waking up in the 20s and 30s. In fact, temperature right now inside the Beltway at the freezing mark, but a lot of 20s go around across the area. And the wind chill? Wind chill not really a factor because the winds are calm. It will be nice and dry throughout the area. We're looking forward to plenty of sunshine and add a warming trend. It's coming our way. That's you. Well, that sounds pretty good to me. All right, thank you, Clay. And a reminder, you can get the latest news and weather anytime with our NBC Washington app. For now, back to Sunday today with Willie Geist. Have a great one. <laughs> I win. 
was like, this is show this mm. at its best. The 67-year-old Ralph grew up the daughter of immigrants, splitting her childhood between New York's Long Island and Jamaica. What is the first memory you have of performance of I Like Being on a Stage? Lawrence Road Junior High School Christmas mm -hmm. Concert. And I sang Oh Holy Night, I Got the Solo. And when I heard that applause, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> It was like mainline, mainline, oh my god, I gotta have it, applause. But Ralph's parents were not so sure about a life in the arts. My mother immigrated from Jamaica and would say, be a doctor, be a lawyer, and if you can't do that, then marijuana. And I was just, oh my god. I said, I will never be a doctor, I will never be a lawyer. This is not happening in my life. After brief flirtations with medicine and law, Ralph turned back to theater, graduating from New Jersey's Rutgers University. At the time, she was the youngest female graduate in the school's history. Graduated at 19 and wasted no time with your career because you missed your graduation yes. for a Skippy peanut butter commercial. And is it true you still keep skipping? Your Absolutely. Because I'm grateful. The $35,000 that I got paid kept me from waiting tables. She began to land parts in movies and television and on Broadway. Originating the role of the original 1981 production of Dream Girls. Nomination. Yes, it's a big yeah. deal for you, a big yes, deal for your career. Did. But as you said, it also was it oh. wasn't easy, right? It was a mixed bag in some ways. Yeah. You know, I learned how to use my voice to create a character. It was my human learning that really took a hit because I saw what happened around AIDS and people's inhumanity towards other human beings. You would sing and dance with somebody, then they'd be fighting for their life. The next day, I'll never be the same after living that. Even after a star turn on Broadway, in movies alongside Hollywood A-listers, and on the hit series Moesha, Ralph struggled to find her place. Where have you been? What do you suppose? Alphabetically screwing up the one in my building. Robert De Niro said, you're a damn good actress. And that's too bad, because Hollywood is not looking for the black girl. So you better climb that mountain and wave the red flag and let them know that you are there. So what has that climb been like all these years? <laughs> it's like when you hear them say, I came up the rough side of the mountain. For Ralph, the road to the mountaintop of Abbott Elementary has been long and at times difficult, but well worth the climb. All this stuff rushing yeah. toward you, is it overwhelming at all? It's like, ride the wave, baby, ride the wave. All I have to do is be good, and more good just comes to me. I know what lightning in a bottle is, and I get to hold it in my hand. She is a truly special person. The third season of Abbott Elementary is airing now on ABC with a fourth already in the works. Our big thanks to Rampoldi Restaurant in New York for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full extended interview with Cheryl Lee Ruff. Full of more laughs and wisdom. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And next week, a Sunday Sit Down with Sydney Sweeney, the morning after her debut as host of Saturday Night Live, on her rise to start with the pop culture sensations Euphoria and White Lotus. Sydney Sweeney, next week on Sunday Today. Let's turn now and get another quick check of your local Sunday weather. Good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Clay Anderson. Plenty of sunshine across the Washington capital region, but temperatures are starting out on the cool side across many areas. Temperatures, particularly to our west, are still below freezing. There will be a quick climb, but they will climb throughout the morning. Storm Team 4 radar not showing any raindrops or cloud cover. Now, temperatures inside the Beltway will be into the 30s, into the 40s, but all of us will see temperatures closing in on that 50-degree mark. Have a great Sunday, everyone. 
ahead on Sunday today. Our highs and lows of the week, including a supersized question. Why didn't anyone think of this sooner? A ski through McDonald's right there on the slopes. But up next, our Sunday spotlight on the emergency effort to save the iconic Joshua trees of the Mojave Desert as wildfires and climate change wipe them out. We're back in I'm the master of time.